What's up weirdos? It is time for another garden tour. It's been a couple weeks since I've done one. I uh, just want to show you kind of what is going on right now. The garden is, uh, it's definitely fading a little bit. Uh, flowers are looking good though. Yeah, good flowers. I got a lot of marshmallows that are coming up here. See, is a marshmallow plant. Yeah, those all just came up on their own. I think the seeds from these plants must have dropped down here, maybe got scattered, maybe the birds ate them or something. I don't know, uh, but they've, uh, they're have they coming up all over here, so, so that's really nice. I don't have to do any planting there. I just let those marshmallows come back every year, and that's what these ones do. They just come back every single year. Uh, so we got a lot of things that we have to do. Um, potatoes, they are pretty much ready to harvest, so we're going to be doing that this week. I'm going to be picking all the, all the potatoes. Uh, the cucumbers... Uh, this bed doesn't look good at all. I'd say uh, we've maybe got 15 cucumbers. I think we got about 15 cucumbers from this bed, um, which isn't very good. That's actually really bad. So I think what I'm going to do is rip these out. I got to rip these peas out too because they're done. Uh, and then I'm going to plant some broccoli in here. And I think that'll be good for the uh, fall. I think we still have time to grow broccoli. Uh, so I think I'm going to do that. Uh, these zucchinis are dead, so I'm going to rip them out. I think we picked our last one today uh, off of this plant. And uh, you can see they're just, they got the powdery mildew or whatever, and then they just all shriveled up. So uh, they're done, so we'll rip them out. Maybe we'll plant some broccoli in here too. And uh, the peppers, the banana peppers, it is time for us to start harvesting them all. Uh, that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. I'm going to pick them all, and I am going to make stuffed peppers. And uh, looking forward to that. I have, uh, I'm going to be making a big batch of rice and uh, throw some corn and some peas in with it. I got a bunch of tomatoes that I have to process and make into sauce. You see a few of them right over there. Uh, and then I'm just going to make a bunch of stuffed peppers, freeze them up. It's going to be delicious. You can see carrots and beets. Uh, I guess they're ready. I mean, the carrots aren't that big. So I don't know. They... They flowered this year. They're not supposed to flower in their first year, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, more beds of potatoes that I'm going to have to pick. Again, all those buckets are full of potatoes as well. I have to pick those. Take a look at this big uh, tomato right here. That's like three different tomatoes, and they all kind of merged into one. Looks pretty cool. I can't wait. Uh, we're going to have to wait for that to ripen and everything, but... Uh, yeah, looking forward to that. You can see some of these are dying. These are Cherokee purples. They they didn't make it, uh, but we got we got quite a bit of uh, tomatoes from them. So I'm probably just going to rip those out. You can see there's some onions in there. Onions are looking pretty good, as you can see. We have a bunch of them in here. More tomatoes here. They're starting to uh, they're starting to slow down a little bit. You can see there's a few of them in there, but uh, we've picked a bunch so far. And then, of course, lots of cherry tomatoes over here. We've picked a bunch of them. And uh, they're just, they're putting out more tomatoes every single day. They're ripening every day. I've been picking just about every day. And uh, I want to show you guys the goji berries. Remember how they were dying? Well, I added lime and I added uh, blood meal. So a little bit of nitrogen there. And they put out new leaves and they also put out flowers so we might actually get some fruit from them and the other plant over there is looking the same so really happy about that uh, also really happy about the peppers these are the bell peppers they're not ripe yet but there's some big ones in here i think there's a really big one and here's some yeah look at this one so looking pretty good and again there's more big ones in here these ones aren't as big but you can see they're loaded lots and lots of peppers on there so i'm excited about that and again uh the spaghetti squash that's almost ready is almost ripe we've got some uh delicata squash in here as well the zeppelin squash and then the bee balm looks very pretty but uh that's about it over here everything is it is starting to fizzle out a little bit it is starting to fizzle out and uh again these these lettuce plants over here i'm letting them go to seed and I'm going to try to get as many seeds as I can from them because lettuce can be expensive. Lettuce, uh, lettuce seeds, you, I buy a lot of them, so it, it's definitely expensive for me. Um, I cleaned out this bed. I'm going to plant some new seeds in there. 
Uh, this bed I'm going to clean out, I think. Eh, I think I'm going to let this one go. I'm going to let this go and get some seeds from that. I'm going to clean this one out because these are pretty much done. And then we'll plant some spinach and some more lettuce in here. I did replant some lettuce in here. So we'll see how that goes. And then over to the overflow garden. And these sunflowers are looking great. I'd say they're about nine feet tall now. Probably about nine feet. Uh, I've been picking some paste tomatoes. As you can see, they're starting to ripen. So I, I've picked probably, oh, I don't know, probably only five or six so far. But uh, there's a lot of them on there, so I'll be picking a lot. Uh, the peppers, they're just, they're not really, I don't know, they're not really putting out a lot of peppers. There's one right here. But these plants down the line, there's not very many peppers on them. They're they're way behind. And then more tomatoes in here. There's some big ones in here. As you can see, I think these are Kellogg's breakfast. I'm not exactly sure. I planted probably, probably about a dozen of those at least, maybe 20 of those. And then a lot more cherry tomatoes in here. There's Matt's Wild Cherry. There's some black cherry in there, I think. I think those are black cherries. You can see it just goes the whole way down. I got, I got more that I have to pick. One pepper by itself over there. And then squash. Lots of squash. There's uh, Zeppelin Delicata in here. And then these are spaghetti squash. Again, the sunflowers are looking really nice. The bees love them. They're all over them, as you can see. Look at all the bees. Little bumblebee right over here. Hey, bumblebee. And uh, these ones are definitely taller. I, I don't know. They're all they're all from the same seeds except for this one right here. This was this is the one that I started. And then the rest of these are all seeds that I got from my dad. So I don't know uh, don't know what the difference is, but uh, <laughs> they're a lot bigger right there. And then uh, watermelons. We've picked. I'd say we've picked about three so far. Uh, ate one of them. It was really good. Uh, it was a yellow one. And then one of them was a little too far gone, so we threw it in the compost. And then I picked uh, two more yesterday. And uh, they're, they're sitting in the fridge now, so we're going to find out if they're sweet or not. Uh, but these are looking good. These, uh, this one right here, it needs just a little bit longer. It's almost ready. As you can see, all you got to do is check that tendril right there. See the one right here? It's just kind of opposite of the plant. Once that's fully dry and that's pretty much there this is this will be ready i'd say this is just about ready so i think we're going to pick this probably tomorrow uh this one needs a little bit longer good way to tell just look at that tendril see how it's not it's not dry yet it's still uh it's still pretty pretty green so we're gonna have to wait a, w a little bit longer for this one another way you can check is just look on the bottom if it's kind of yellow it's ready this is not really yellow so it's going to need a little bit longer. And then, uh, again, these are more marshmallow plants over here. More tomatoes, lots of zucchinis. Uh, we've been, we're still picking zucchinis. They're still producing. They don't like this heat, though. You can see they're starting to wilt a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we've, we've picked a lot of zucchinis this year. I'd say they've been our most productive plant so far. And uh, tomatoes look like they could be pretty productive. There's a lot of them on there. You can see a lot of big tomatoes. These are all Kellogg's breakfast down here. And then these ones, it looks like they might be getting some sun scald. So I might have to pick those a little early and just kind of let them ripen up in a paper bag or something. Uh, but things are looking pretty good. And you can see the apple over there. It's starting to turn a little red. So I'm excited about that. It'll be our first apple that we've ever grown here. Uh, elderberries are starting to ripen. There's, I, I picked a few. They're, they're really watery, honestly. <laughs> I would, I, I think what I'm going to do in the future is, um, maybe grow more plants and then, uh, pick them all and make them down into like a jelly or something because straight elderberry, it's, it's not very good. It's not very sweet. It is very watery. Uh, again, um, those other apples over there, they don't have any apples on them yet, but, uh, I'm hoping next year... Next year we might get a couple. This one we got three on it. So excited about that. And uh, really that's that's about it going on right now. I mean it's been pretty uh, pretty quiet here. Uh, I've been doing a lot of garden stuff. I've been doing a lot of uh, preserving and like making stuff down into sauce. 
and of course uh, lots of gaming videos coming your way uh, I might have I might have some time to do a few more videos uh, later in the evening so I might be able to get a few more out this week I, I'm trying I'm trying to do one every day if I can it's it it doesn't mean that it's going to happen but uh, that is my goal to try to get one every day uh, I might miss a couple days this week but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stick to the schedule but uh, anyway I hope you guys are keeping safe and healthy and uh, I will see you later goodbye